Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, it's time for another how to draw and color video, and I've been getting a lot of requests to do this Titan, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw and color King Ghidorah. Now, this is going to be a big drawing, and we're going to try to fit it all onto one piece of paper. Now, with this drawing, it's going to have a lot of detail in it. It's going to be a little bit longer video. So make sure you guys get to follow along so you can see all the steps. And if you guys have other requests, definitely let me know and I'd be happy to show you how to draw and color them. But thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Now to start off with our draw and color King Ghidorah, we're going to begin with the face and we're going to try to fit everything onto this paper. Now I'm actually going to be doing a lot of zooming in and out and I'm actually going to be using an extra fine point sharpie for this one just because there's a lot of details to really fit on here and I want to make sure you guys can see everything. So I'm going to start kind of towards the, not quite the middle, but up just a little bit with the head. Now let's start here with the first head. So let's begin by drawing a little line that's just going to come down and then we're going to bring it back like this. Then we're going to make lines going to come down and up for the eye. They'll make a couple little lines underneath it. Then over here, let's draw a little line that's going to curve out and then up. Now starting here, we're going to make a little line that's going to come out. And we're going to bring this line in a little bit for the nose. We'll draw a line that's going to curve up and down out here with a little line above it for the other part of the nose. Next, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down and then over. And then we're going to make a little line that's just going to curve back like this for the mouth. Next, we're going to make a line that's just going to come down and it's going to go over the little curved line here. Then we're going to draw a line that's going to come up. We'll draw a little line that's going to come down, and another one that's going to come down, and that's going to come back for the tongue. Then we're going to add a lot of sharp teeth on here. So we're going to put these on both sides, and then we're going to add a lot of sharp teeth on the top as well. I usually should always draw the teeth first, but I accidentally did the tongue first, but that's fine. Next, we're going to draw a little line that's going to curve around here for the lip and a line that's going to come down, and then we're just going to bring it up for the jaw. Now we're going to add the little points and spikes coming out. So we'll draw one here, we'll make another one here, another one here. We're making them a little bit longer as they come out, and then we'll draw one more here. Now starting here, I'm going to leave some space. I'm going to make a couple little points that just go up and down. Then I'm going to make a long spike that's just going to curve up. It's going to come to a point and it's going to come back down. Same thing here, we're just going to go up, come to a point, and then we're going to come back down. And we'll add a little line that comes up and down for the eyebrow. So that's going to be our first head. Now I'm going to put the second head over here. So this one's going to be a little bit more of like a profile view, more, a little more at the side. So I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to begin by drawing a little line that's just going to come down and up. And then a little line that curves around here for the eye with a couple little lines underneath it. I'm going to bring this line up a little bit. Then I'm going to bring this line out and we're going to curve this up and down for the nose. Then we'll add a little curved line in here, kind of like a question mark shape. Next, we're going to bring this around and we're going to draw a little line that's going to come down. I'm going to make it kind of wavy and come back like this. Then we're going to draw this line down to here and we're going to make it come back just a little bit for the lip. Now 
Next, we're going to make a line that's going to come down. We're going to come back all the way up to here with the jaw. Then we'll add a little curved line here with a couple little lines for the back of the mouth. Now this time we'll draw the teeth first. So we're just going to add some sharp teeth on the bottom and on the top as well. Draw a long line that's going to come out and then come back. Line that's going to come out to a point and back, out to a point and back, out to a point and back, and then out to a point and then back. We're going to make some little points on the top. And then we'll make a long wavy horn at the top. Next we'll do the next head right over here. So right here we're just going to draw a little line that's going to come down and up. And then we'll draw a little line that's going to curve down and up here. Next, we're going to make a little line that curves around here. A little line that's going to come down with a little curved line here. And we'll draw another curved line right there. Next, we'll make a little line that's going to come down. We'll add a couple lines underneath the eye. Now, right here, we're going to draw a line that's going to go down. It's going to come around. We're going to make it wavy and come back to here. Next, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down. And then we're going to start adding the teeth. So let's add some sharp pointy teeth to here with a little curved line. And then we'll add more teeth over here at the top. Then we'll add a little line that goes down and up and back for the tongue and we'll draw a little line for the back of the mouth. Starting here, we'll draw a little line that comes across for the lip. And we'll make a little line that's going to come down, and then it's going to come back here. Next, we'll add our spikes. So we'll add our long pointed spikes on here. And then starting over here, we're going to add some little pointed spikes at the top of the head. Then right here, we're going to draw a long line that's just going to do the same thing. We just kind of come up, go down a little bit, and come back up. Then we come back for the horns. Then I'll add a little line up here. So now that we have our Ghidorah heads, we're going to work on the rest of Ghidorah. So the first thing we want to do is let's start the neck. So I'm going to begin by drawing a long line that's just going to come down here. And then I'm going to make another long line that's just going to come down to here. This one will draw a line that's just going to curve down. And then we'll do that same line right to here. This one we're going to start at the top, and this one's going to curve down to here. And then we're going to curve this neck right into here. And then we're going to bring this line down. Now starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down and in for the chest. And we'll draw another one that's going to go kind of up here. We're going to draw a line that's just going to come down. And then we're going to make the legs. So we'll start really high. We're going to draw a line that's going to go down. And then it's going to come in. Then we're going to come out at an angle. And we're going to make a long line that's going to come out to a point and then back. 
We'll make another one here. It's going to come down to a point and then back. And then we're going to leave some space, and I'll make another little point here that's going to come down, and then we're going to come up. Next, we're going to bring this line up, and then we're going to curve it up to here. Starting here, I'm going to curve a line down, and then we'll curve another line down towards it as well. I'm going to make a couple of curved lines here. Then a line that's going to come out. And then another one that's going to come out like this. This one will make a little curved line that comes down here for a toe. Then we'll make one that comes down to a point and then up. Make another one that comes down and that's going to go up and then connects. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to curve in. And then we'll make a little line that comes up here. And we're going to connect this line down. Now right here is where we're going to kind of start the wing. Now sadly we won't be able to fit the whole wing in here because it's going to go off the paper just because Ghidorah is so big. But we'll fit in as much as we can. So starting here I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to come up. And then we're going to bring it up here. This neck is going to be kind of in front of it. So then we're just going to bring this up and then we're just going to take this out. I'm going to bring this line up, and we're going to come up, and we're going to go out to here, and then down, and then in. I'm going to make this come out here towards the top of the paper, and then back. We'll make another one that goes all the way out, and then comes back, and then one more. It just goes out. Starting here, we're going to draw a little line that's going to come down to a point. It's going to come up, down to a point, and then it's going to come out and off to the paper. Then we're going to draw a little line that's going to curve down, and then one more. Next, we're going to draw a little line that's going to come back, and another one that's going to come back, and we'll do one here and another one here. And then we'll make one more come out this way. Now for this wing, we're going to start it up here. So we're actually going to draw a long line. It's going to come up to a point, and then it's going to come back. We're going to make another one that's going to come out to a point, and then it's going to come back and then it's going to kind of jump behind this neck. We're going to draw a line that's going to curve down to here. And then we're going to start a couple more little points out here. That way they look like they're kind of connected here. We'll make a curved line down. And then we'll bring this line in a little bit. Now we want to add the tail, and I'm just going to kind of start the tail out here. We're just going to kind of draw a line that's just going to curve up. We're going to bring this line down, and then we're just going to curve it out to here. And we'll make it kind of pop out back here. Now here's our basic Ghidorah. Now we just want to come in here and add all the different details. So let's start up here. We're going to add some spikes right down the back of the neck. So we're going to do this to each one. We're just going to add spikes that come all the way down the back of the, each neck. So we're just going to bring these all the way down to here. I'm going to make a long line that's just going to come down. And we'll do that on each neck. I'll bring this one down here. 
and then I'll bring this one down to here. And then we're just going to kind of round them off at the end. Now these are going to have lots of little lines in here. This is kind of like the scaly texture pattern underneath the neck. So we're going to draw this kind of scaly line pattern all the way underneath here. And we're going to do this to each one. Next, you're going to add a couple little broken lines on here for the chest. We'll add some curved lines on each of the claws. Then I always like to add a little line or two right around it just to really make it look like they're sitting in there. We'll make some little kind of lines that go across for the knees and then a couple little broken lines around here with a couple more by the feet as well. We'll add some more broken lines around here. You want to add some long lines that go right along the neck. And we'll add some here. We'll add some little curved lines coming up the horns too. And we're going to add some right along here as well. We'll add some broken lines. We'll also add some claws up here on the wings, just on the tips of each wing. I'm going to add some broken lines kind of right around the mouth and everything. And then just a few more kind of little detail lines everywhere. Kind of add some right along the arms. And I like to add these long broken lines coming out of the wings just so it looks like the material in between them is kind of like stretching. We'll add just a few more lines over here by the body. And just a couple more on here as well. And there you go, there is your drawing of King Ghidorah. Now I'm sorry this wing got cut off, we just kind of ran out of room to put everything in there. But the next step in here is to come in here and color, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well. Okay, now to start off with coloring our King Ghidorah, you're going to want a variety of different kind of yellows, um, some light tans, some browns, different things like that, because that's mostly what he has, a lot of these kind of like yellow and goldish colors on here. So I'm actually going to start with this Y423, and this is kind of more of a brown color. And when kind of coloring him, we want to go in for some of the darker areas first. So you'll see some of the darker areas on spots kind of like on the back of the neck here. So you can get each neck with one of these darker brown colors. I'm also going to kind of get the bottom of his spikes as well with a little bit of this. And along the bottom of his face too. So do that on each one of these, kind of get the bottom of the spikes. And then we'll just kind of get the bottom of his face. And this is just so we can kind of lay in some shadows. We're also going to see this on kind of this part of the leg. We're getting the back of the leg, and I'm going to come right down here as well. I'm also going to kind of get some of the sides of the toes as well. This is just so we can kind of lay in some of these dark shadows. We'll kind of go around the knee a little bit. Go around the bottom of the toes and everything. We can go to around the top of the leg, hit the back, and then kind of right underneath the chest area too. So let me spots just to kind of show where there's going to be a little bit of darkness. I'm also going to go and do this right along the bottom of his tail. So we're just going to kind of hit some of these spots right along there. I like to do a darker color right underneath the eyes too. That really helps make them pop. So do right around there, kind of right around the back of the eyebrow. We can do it right along the bottom of the top part of the mouth too. So we're just going to kind of hit some of those. And then I'm actually going to color quite a bit of their Ghidorah's horns with this brown as well. So we're just going to get quite a bit of this with some of this brown in here. I'm also going to go and do the bottom of his arms 
and all these little long kind of finger parts on the wings as well. So we're just going to get all of these, and we're just kind of laying down that shadow. So let's just kind of hit all those first. Now, after you do that, you want to come in with something that's going to be a little bit lighter. I like to go with this Y325. This is kind of like a darker yellow color. And I'm just going to go right up against a lot of those, a lot of that color that I just put down. We're just kind of giving a gradual color change. I'm going to color all of the horns with this. So I'm going to get all of the horned areas with this color. And this is just kind of like a really dark, dark yellow color. You can almost kind of call it like a light brown too. And we're just kind of going right next to that first color that we put down. And this is just going to give us a nice gradual change. You can kind of fill in some areas with this as well. I like to kind of get some of these little spots where there might be a little bit of darker areas. Might not see a lot of light, so we can kind of hit underneath the neck area there. Go a little bit along the top here of the head, just kind of filling in some different spots. Kind of go right around this neck too. We can definitely take this up the arm and kind of get some of these spots here. I'm only going to do a little bit up here because I'm going to use some of this color for when I do the actual wings too. And let's get the tail too. Oh, we can also hit these too. I forgot about these little spots here. And we can get this area right between the neck. Now once you're done with something like that, then you want to come in here with uh, something a little bit lighter. I'm going to go with this Y315. This is a nice color. It's like a nice dark yellow. And this is something that we can do most of Ghidorah in. Now the trick is when coloring with these markers is I'm actually going to go and I'm going to color over a lot of the parts that I've already colored. This way that they, this way it kind of like helps these markers blend together because these markers are really really nice because they are an alcohol based marker. So something you kind of find in like rubbing alcohol stuff like that. And they just blend really really well, not like your traditional water based markers. So these things are really nice, and I'm just going to kind of color over a lot of the areas. I'm going to fill up most of Ghidorah with this yellow color. I'm going to leave some areas white for right now because we'll come in with another yellow. But you just really want to color over everything you've already colored, and that just kind of helps these colors blend and work together. You can really see we're starting to get some different blending in here and starting to look really nice already. So we're going to come in here and just kind of get all these spots. And this almost kind of works as like a blender. You're just kind of going over, bringing all these colors together. So we're just going to kind of hit all of these. I'm going to go ahead and use all this for like the uh, little kind of long finger parts on the wing. I want to get most of the head in here with this color. And we're just going to kind of get all of this. One of the tricky spots is kind of getting right around all these little spikes. These markers are nice because they definitely have a second tip on them. And that really helps for getting these small areas, but I'm just kind of going to go ahead and fill it in and do my best to stay inside the lines. So we're going to go and just get all these right along here, just like that. Now I filled up most of Ghidorah with this Y315, and then I'm just going to come in here with something a little bit lighter. I'll go with this Y204, and I'll just kind of use this just to kind of hit some of these little empty spots. These are just going to kind of be some highlights on Ghidorah. So I'm just going to come in here and fill up everything on his body and the skin with this Y204. And this is just a nice light yellow color. Nothing really bright. I don't want to do like a really, really bright yellow. But this is just something nice that's going to give me some nice kind of little bright highlights here and there. It's kind of making the skin glow in some spots. And it's just a really nice blending color to go with. So we're just going to kind of hit all these little spots. These are nice. You don't even really have to color over everything like we did before because it's so light that it just kind of fills in those little areas. So that's a nice little kind of color. That's just the basic skin color of Ghidorah. Now, when it comes to out here on the wing part, there's a few different things you can do. I'm going to go in with this Y423 again, and I'm going to color in here with that and I'm gonna get some of these big areas here like some of these lines and whatnot with this and I'm just gonna come in here and 
kind of fill these up. I'm kind of getting areas that are right underneath these long finger parts. Spots are where you might see some shading, a little bit more darkness. So we're going to get quite a bit in here. With these markers, you want to kind of color over it just a second time. What that does is just kind of gets rid of some of those extra little lines you might see. You know, the more expensive the markers you get, sometimes you don't have to see those lines. But the nice thing about these Bionio markers is that they are really uh, inexpensive, but they work really well. So we're just kind of getting some of these different areas in here. Kind of hitting them all. Just going to keep filling in right underneath these finger areas. And we're just kind of getting all this just like that. Still leaving a lot of white spots in there because I'm going to come in here and fill this in. And I'm going to come back in here with this Y325 and I'm just going to fill in the whole wing area with this color here. That way it's a little bit darker than the rest of the body. We don't have some of those lighter yellow colors. But it's not so dark that it doesn't really match in there. Because really when you look at Ghidorah's wings, the colors are very similar to what's on his body. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm just coloring in these nice little circle motions, getting all of these wing areas. And just like I said, really want to color on top of that. That way it can really blend nicely. And you just get a really cool effect too once you're all said and done with that. So we're going to come in here and get all of these wing areas. Okay, now once you have that wing color in there, then the next step is we want to work on some of these little spots like right underneath the neck here. So I'm going to go with a Y204, and I'm just going to go and just kind of get right around the side of the neck here with this, going back and forth on it a few times. This is going to be a little bit lighter than some of the other parts of the body. So we're just going to get these right on the, more of the top side. And then I'm going to do it under most of these little lines here. So we're just going to hit underneath right under all these little lines. Just so we can kind of see a little bit of shading. I'm doing right underneath the top of each line. Then I'm going to come in with this Y003. This is like one of the lightest of all the yellows. I'm just going to kind of fill in this area. This just kind of gives it a little bit of like a lighter look and just kind of helps separate the body a little bit. Now, I'm going to come in here with my Y648. This is going to be one of the lighter browns. And what we're going to do is I'm going to actually use this smaller tip. And I'm just going to kind of color in right along the bottom of all of these little spikes on the back. So I'm going to get the bottom of all of these. I do kind of right up against the neck and then the very bottom. And this just kind of adds a little bit of shading to it. I'm also going to do the bottom of the toes as well. So I'm going to do the bottom and then just kind of come up the side of each of the toes. We're going to give them these kind of brown claws. So we're just going to do this right along here. And the smaller tip is just nice. It just kind of helps get those little areas. And then so I'm going to do this right along the back of here as well. Now, after we do that, I'm also going to go and get the claws on the tips of each of the wings. So we're just going to kind of get the bottom of them. And we're just going to do this right over here. And once again, I'm sorry that we kind of had to cut off the wing a little bit. Just ran out of room. He's just such a big character to draw. Now, I'm going to come in here with this Y529. Now, this is a really nice one. And this just kind of is a mix of like a lighter brown, kind of like but darker than a tan. And it's just a really nice color. It ties in with all these yellows really well. So we're going to kind of come in here and color in all those areas with this, just kind of going over the top of them, and then just kind of fill in this in. So I'm going to get all these spikes. I'm going to do the tips of each of the wings with this. And this is just going to kind of really tie in. Nothing too dark that we can't really see what's going on, but this is just a really nice color to add into here. Now, once you're done with that, I'm actually going to go and just run this right along the bottom of some of these horns here, just to give it a little bit of a darker color, just to make them stand out just a tiny bit. 
Now, once you're done with that, you want to come in here with a R107. I'm going to use the tip. This is our red color, and I'm just going to go ahead and color the eyes red. Give them this nice red color here. And then I'm going to go with my R218. This is going to be a little bit darker red, and I'm just going to color it right along the top. This just adds a little bit of shading in there. Now, I like coming in with my R126. This is a good color. This is going to be really dark, and I like to do the inside of the mouth with this color. This is like a really deep, dark red, kind of like a maroonish color. And this is good for like the inside mouth colors. This is what I use on a lot of my uh, Godzilla drawings. Next, I'm going to come in with R213. This is a nice color, and this is like a dark pink, and I do like the bottom of the tongues and I do the top of this back area of the mouth with this. Anytime you see me doing uh, any coloring on this, especially with all these Titan drawings, I'm always using this for this part of the mouth because it's just a nice color. The last one we're going to come in here with is R502. This is our pink and this is just going to kind of blend and tie all those little reds together and we're just going to kind of fill in the tongue and the back of the mouth area with that. And then I see I forgot these little claws right up here, so I'm going to go in there and get my tan in there. And then something I, I like to do is just with these pictures, is I just kind of come in here with like a light color and I hit any little white spots that I don't want to leave. just want to get any of these. It's always good to kind of look over your picture and just see if you got any of those small white spots. I'm going to come in here and get these claws too that I forgot. So we're going to get all of these. And just see one more little area I want to get up here. And there you go. There is your drawing of King Ghidorah and how you color it. Lots of colors in this one, but if you use them all, they do turn out really nice. And I definitely recommend you guys check out those Bionio markers because they can really make your drawings pop out. But there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.